Welcome to Craft Hacks Studios. Today, I'll be sharing tips with you guys on how to use Capture One Pro to even your skin tone. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. So, this is the image you'll be working on today. We'll be working on this image. Um, so, this is one of, uh, I guess, this is one of, this is one of processed. I've done all the, all the needful color balance and all. As you can see, let me try and zoom on it wider so that you can see the image from a closer range coming so today i'm working with with my wacom tablet it helps to um to make the retouching process faster so this is the image i've worked on let me show you guys one the one i haven't worked on which is a uh, this one, oh sorry, this one. Can you see? Can you spot the difference? Oh sorry, this one. Okay, yes. I worked on this one. Can you spot the difference? Can you spot the difference? Can you see this one? Everything is looking all popped. I haven't worked on this one. So I will take you guys through the process from this level to achieve this level. Can you see? I haven't even taken it to Photoshop yet. Everything is looking all popped up. So let's get started with the image. Let me work with this. So what I do first is this. Um, just for me to see all the details of what I'll be working with. So uh, my image is not Overexposed, then there is it underexposed. Let me let me just open up the shadow a bit. Plus ten. It gives my highlights. Only fifteen. And um, let me come to my level. Let me drop down this. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So maybe this a bit. My shadows. Okay, five by five. Okay. So this is what I do to see what I'm working on. I'll create a new variant so that we can compare. This is the one we are working on now. Can you see? This is the one I haven't worked on. This is the one I'm currently working on. Now. Can you see the difference? Okay, so we are making progress. So there's something I want to do as well, which is um, I'll come to. I think I'm fine with the with I'm fine with the uh, white balancing. That's fine. So let me come to my curve. There's something I love doing under my under my luma. So I'll just work around this place just to give it more depth in the shadow aspects. Come to this. This is my mid tone. Can you see it's popping already? I want to pop this side. I want to pop the, uh, the highlight and all, so I'll just walk around it a bit this way. So this, I'll walk around this as well. Can you see everything is looking all popped up? Can you see spots? Can you see the difference? Everything is looking all popped up already. So can you see? So. It's, it's always good you try to balance everything before going to before going to Photoshop. So that's that. Uh, what else do I need to do? I guess that's it basically. So now I want to fix. Let me use my checker to to know if I'm overexposed anywhere. Okay, this one is is not something serious. In the process of shooting, I had um, a V1, a good Z1 behind here, just to bring out the uh, the talent from the backdrop okay um, that's that so there's something I want to do as well now let's go to let's balance let balance the color tone if you observe this the face and the neck they are two different things look at the, the neck is well the face is well littered why the the neck region is a bit kind of dark kind of dark 
so i want to balance the exposure i want to balance the the face region and the neck region so in that aspect under this place let's create a new layer for creating a new layer you just click on okay that's a new brush that's my brush you click on this that's a new layer so i will give it um i'll call it color fix color fix okay color fix sorry color fix okay that's that so for me to balance this now i want you guys to see something so to balance the fix face and the neck there's something i need to do so after creating that color fix uh let me now bring you guys to let's go to let's go to this okay our color our color editor yes under our color editor you click on your skin tone you click here you click on this aspect of the face just look for a very decent area very decent area of the face just look for a very decent area of the face so i'm using this place as a yardstick here yeah, that's it so now let me do this let me click somewhere here yeah now let me use something around this area okay so now there's something i want you guys to observe yeah i'll be working with my um i'll be working with my eel and saturation under uniformity so i want to blend the face i want to blend this face the uh, color rendition of the face with the neck so if you observe look at my eel did you observe anything can you see there's a blend it looks very subtle look at this place and this place is a blend Can you see there's a blend between the neck between the face so if i want to reduce the saturation here now so i'll work with this saturation can you see for you to see the impact of what i'm trying to do look at the lips if you observe the lips have, has changed from red to orange just observe it see let me go back to the foot can you see that so i'll work I will adjust my EU. Let me put my EU on let's say 50. My saturation, let's say around um, 60. Yeah. If you observe, look at the face and the neck, there's a blend now. Let me go to the image I've worked on. Can you see? Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? There is not, there is not a blend between the face and the neck region. Can you see that? So it's it's not something so 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 tedious that way. I mean, you know something so so tedious to achieve. Just adjusting your nerves and all. Something very straightforward, straightforward to achieve. You can achieve the same process to using a um, Photoshop, but. I prefer using um, Capture One because I'm still working with the raw data, so I have all the um, all the information to work with. So as you can see, the blend has been has been done. So if I want to lighten this area, this shadow, if I want to lighten it a bit, okay. You see the the effect I added. You observe that you are not seeing it. For you to clearly see the impact, I'll come here. I will invert. Can you see now? All the parameters I was working with, you guys were not seeing the iPad before. But the moment I inverted it, the whole thing came over. See? Let me go back now. Can you see the, the lips is looking red? So let me adjust my EU. 
can you see look at the neck and the face there's a plenty so i want to reduce this uh saturation here so i work with this saturation button this knob can you see that can you see there's a blend look at the face look at the neck we have a perfect blend now let me go to the to before image look at the before image and look at the after look at the before image and look at the after after you can see there's a blend between the neck and the face i know i know that i know there's a question you're about to ask me the lips the color of the lips has changed and the and the makeup on the eye eye region of it so it's it's, it's not something serious i can easily work on that show you on, on how to go about it so here is the thing so we use our, our eraser brush we erase the the, uh, the blend we applied on the on the entire image so just watch how i revive the lips color back let's watch closely so this is what i will do i will erase The effects can you see that can you see what is happening Ula, can you see we have our lips color back look at before look at after so let me erase it let me clean it very well so we can have more more blend on the skin to one more blend on, on the lips so that we can have our uh, the original color of the list back now we are back with the original color of the lips can you see that can you see that so it does that so i want to erase the eye region too as well i don't want the the color blend to to have effect on the eye on the eye aspect as well so erasing that so, so same applies to this one we raise the second eye too as well so that's what i'm doing very quickly so sorry i think i've overdone that so i'm taking that all over again it's exactly a reversible you have a welcome talent it makes your editing flow very easy very easy to work with so can you see that look at before and look at after oh, look and after oh, sorry before and after can you see that before and after so there's one more thing i want this my lips to pop i want it to pop but so this is what i will do i'll come under advanced i'll click here okay let me create a new layer for this so i'll create a new layer which is this so i can just give it a pop i want the lips and the and the eye eye shadow not to pop so if we just come here I'll click on this I'll click on the lips so I will increase the saturation a bit if you observe what is happening there if you, okay, you might not see the effects now but there's something I need to do I need to paint I'll have to paint the effects on the lips just watch watch you see the effect now so i'm painting it on the lips you see the effect now can you see that let me uncheck this can you see the effect so i'm making the lips to pop so i'm reducing my stress and getting to photoshop this can be done in photoshop but it's it's very good if you can get all these things done at the um at the raw state but you have lots of information you know, a lot of information to work with so i want to pop this eye aspect so, so i will just use my brush too as well you see the pop now can you see that can you see the pop so same applies to this one you see so there's there's a bit of color under the eyes which I want to you see that 
this one too as well so i think there is there's a bit of spill which i need to clean up which i'm trying to do now i don't want anything to affect the eyes yes we're good to go with this and then if i want the contours this side a bit of the makeup to show to as well there's something i can work with here so let me reduce my brush size my opacity i can drop down on my flow let me reduce my flow to like 20 just watch what i do let me see I'm trying to pop this place make this side pop as well you know. so i guess that's that so you see before and after before and after before and after all these all these things are done in photoshop so there's one more thing i want to do as well which is this neck region i want to add a bit of lightness to this neck region so i'll create a new layer for that which is this i can just give it Name it neck, neck shadow. So to do that, I'll come to this place. I'll click on my skin to. I'll just come around, um, around here, around this side. So I want to pop this place. So all I, all, I, all I need to do is just come to this lightness or just increase the flow of the lightness which is, let me say, let's say 10, let's say 10, so I'll, I'll use my brush, I'll just paint it somewhere here, you see, you see the difference now, just watch. Can you see that? Not so much, but this is the neck is so subtle. Can you guys see that? You see, the neck is not so subtle. So when you're working in Photoshop, that reduces the stress of trying to revive the shadow of that area. So it makes everything look so easy for me. Makes everything look so easy for us. Can you see that? Makes everything look so straightforward. So that's that. That's that. So for this and this place, I want to brighten this shadow a bit. I just paint over it. Paint over this shadow a bit. Just to brighten it. So the things I have to work on in Photoshop. I'm just trying to make everything easier for me here. To get enough shadow I can recover before taking it to Photoshop. So it's best for you to try and recover all the recoveries in your, in your raw data state before taking it out to Photoshop. Okay, so that's that. Yes, can you see what we have done? So look at before, after. Before, after, before, after. So to respond to your image, you just come here. By the way, I'm using Capture One Pro 12. There's a latest version of it. You still love my Capture One Pro 12. So you need to do just export. Mm -hmm. Basically, I love to export my image in TIFF 16 bits. Depends on the kind of camera you're using, but I recommend you use TIFF, but TIFF has a lot of, it's, it retains a lot of data. You can export in PSD as well, but I love exporting my images in TIFF. So you just need to do it just to choose your location and export. So, so guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Um, please remember to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up where you feel I should talk. When you things you feel I should talk about or things that are not clear to you, just 
leave a message below or a comment below and I will address and I will address anything you want to address. Thank you so much guys for watching my tutorial. Thank you.